What's up, Blue Jay fans? Rob Scott of the Jay Talking Podcast back with another game day recap. This one, a doubleheader. Uh, last night's game was rained out between the Jays and the Cards, so they're doing two today, a double dip. And uh, Jays come in 6-14 and 14 on the season. Cards 9-11. and 11. Jays last in the East. Cards fourth in the Central. Jays 4-7 and seven on the road now with the win uh, on uh, Wednesday night. And the Cards 5-5 five and five at home. Jays offense 29th overall. They've scored 70 runs. Cards 26 overall, 74 runs scored. Fairly evenly matched in that sense. I guess if you uh, include the Cards pitching that does the hitting that's included in there, the Cards offense is actually uh, probably a bit better. Uh, Jays pitching staff 15th overall with a 4.03 ERA, and the Cardinals 17th overall with a 4.04 ERA. Matt Latos versus Carlos Hernandez. Hernandez off to a slow start this season. He had a great first start, seven innings, 10 Ks, no runs, but has been sloppy his last three. He's 0-3 with a 4.76 ERA, and Matt Latos is 0-0 in his one start with a 7.20 ERA. Did not look good in that start. And he, in his career, is 2-4 and four with a 7.50 ERA at Bush Stadium. So that doesn't look good coming in. News and notes, Eric, uh, Ezekiel Carrera comes in with a five-game hitting streak. He's hitting 306 on the season. Ryan Gones hitting 296 with a 519 slugging percentage, almost a 900 OPS for him. That's a good start. Jose Batista leads the AL in assists. His arm looks good this year. Just bounced back after really two, two years of, of looking like he really lost it. So he must be fully recovered. Uh, he has three outfield assists. Um, the Cards come in with a sloppy offense, or excuse me, a sloppy defense who has not helped them. They have the most errors in the NL. And we saw it in Wednesday's game. And uh, we saw a little bit of, uh, is it lack of concentration? Is it sloppy play? I don't know. But they made some, some, some mental mistakes, particularly on the base pass in, in, in this game. Uh, Jays looking to get their first back-to-back -back win and their first series win of the season. Uh, and they are 11-3-11 and 11 in one or two run games. So let's hope this is a blowout by the Jays. Scoring top of one, uh, excuse me, top of the second, one nothing Blue Jays on a Russ Martin 417-foot blasted deep right center. He has been hitting very well lately, and it continues uh, Jays strike again, top six, make it three, nothing. Ryan Goins with a two run single scored Batista and Martin, uh, top of seventh. The Jays extend the lead to four, nothing. There was a walk, a single and a hit by pitch. And then Justin smoke with an RBI sack fly. And then the cards start to come back four, one now bottom of the seven after J Jose Martinez scored on a Randall Gretchik single again. I don't know how to pronounce anything. Gritchick. Gritchick. 4-1. Uh, to the bottom of the eighth now. They pull one run closer. 4-2. Uh, Dexter Fowler with a doubler on a beautiful stretched out Superman play by Pilar. But it just went off his glove. And he wasn't able to hold it. So that was a double for him. And then Matt Carpenter brought him home with an RBI single. To the bottom of the ninth. Roberto Suna comes in. And this is what we'll talk about in a minute. To slam the door, Jays a 4-2 lead. They had two outs, a runner on base, and kaboom. Randall Gritchick again tied it up with a two-run blast. 414-foot shot. 4-4 four, four now. That was very depressing, and you felt very deflated at that point. At least I did. I realized at that point I had ignored my kids all day for no reason. It was going to go in vain, and uh, that's the way it ended because in the bottom of the 11th, it finally fell apart for good. Colton Wong with a leadoff double. Moved to third. Jays intentionally walked two batters. And then Martin uh, Matt Carpenter with a walk-off grand slam to win it 8-4. And the Jays were denied. Back-to-back -back wins again for the first time. And their first, well, they can still get the series win tonight. But uh, very discouraging. Uh, but let's look at the numbers and the offense. Jays offense had nine hits, four runs, one home run, four walks, 11 Ks, and left 16 men on base. Um, just before I burn through this, you know, it feels like the Jays offense is coming around. But when, when I'm continuously doing these scores and updating these scores, what I'm seeing is the same run. Same thing, three, four runs, 
eight, nine hits. It's really not an explosion. It's Yes, there are guys who are hitting better, Russ Martin, uh, Jose Batista, Ryan Goins. But, but as a team, it's really not – we're not getting that, uh, that breakthrough yet. And why would we? We're still lit, missing Donaldson. We're still missing Tulowitzki. Um, Kendris Morales sat out this game. He did have a pinch hit single late in the game. So we know what we're, you know, we know where we are with this offense. It's, it's, uh, w- there's not going to be an explosion. There's not going to be a power, uh, power, uh, surge w- with, with home runs. Um, it's going to be a team that's going to need to scrap and punch and scrape and kick and claw and, and all that stuff to get their runs every game. And, uh, I mean, they're doing a better job and they're getting good pitching, but, uh, just not enough. You know, they're, they're, they're losing those one run games and it's, it's, they're not losing them. Um, they've been in every game. As Jason Grilly said earlier in an interview in the game, they've been in every game, and that is true. But they're not losing the games over dumb luck. They're just losing the games because they're just, you know, that much worse than everybody else. They're just not able to uh, put enough of attack together. The pitching's been there for the most part, the starting pitching anyway, and uh, it's just not uh, – they don't have it, Period. End of story. Let's go through the hitters. Kevin Pillar, two for six, one run. Jose Batista, two for three, a run. Justin Smoke, one for four with a rib. Russ Martin, one for four, two runs, a home run, a ribby, and a walk. And Ryan Goins, one for five with two RBIs. The Cards offense, 13 hits, eight runs, two home runs, one steal, seven walks, nine Ks, 20 men left on base. Uh, Dexter Fowler, two for five, two runs, a walk. Matt Carpenter, two for five, a grand slam, five ribbies, and a walk. Um... Yadier Molina was two for four with a run, a walk, and a steal. And Colton Wong, two for four, a run, and a walk. The Jays pitching, boy, they burned through the relievers. Both teams did not need this to, in the first game, but that's what they got. And the Jays used to boat everybody they had. Uh, Latos was beautiful, though. He pitched very, very well. It was very good to see. Um, he, he didn't feel out of control, really, at any point. Um so that was nice. That's nice. And he's going to obviously go, will get another start because of that. And that's encouraging sign. So he pitched six shutout innings, three hits, four walks, four Ks, lowered his ERA to 3.27. Joe Biagini starting to get bumped around a little bit, bringing up that incredible ERA and whippy head. You're starting to see it come back a little bit closer to the norm. Uh, if you can call it a norm based on one season, but we know he's not a, a one ERA guy. So he had an inning, two hits, a run. Uh, Joe Smith, an inning, two hits, a run, and a K. Roberto Osuna. So uh, one inning, two hits, two runs, the home run, um, two Ks. Third blown save. ERA now 750 on the season. Dominic Leone, an inning, two hits, a uh, walk, two Ks. He got out of trouble. Ryan Tapera came in. He took the loss, fell to one and one on the season with a third of an inning, three runs, one hit. Two walks, though the home run was given up by J.P. Howell, who finally made his return off the DL. Well, he came back uh, earlier in the series, but his first uh, game since then. He did not register an inning, an inning, gave up a run, a hit, and the home run, the grand slam. Cards pitchers, Carlos Martinez was good, though not special. Six innings, five hits, three runs, three walks, eight Ks, a home run. His ERA at 471, about where it was. Tyler Lyons, two innings, one hit, one run, two Ks. Uh, Jonathan Broxton, one inning, two hits. Um, Swang Huan Ho, uh, one inning, one K, and Matt Bowman got the win. He went to 1-0 and on the season with an inning and a hit. So just to finish off, talk about Roberto Osuna. So we know that Roberto Osuna's velocity is down about 2.5 miles per hour over the previous two seasons. Um... Pat Tabler suggested that this, you know, everybody, of course, will lean toward an injury. Uh, I lean toward an injury, a worry, a major worry. He's our, our obviously our key piece of the bullpen. And um, if we lose him, it's significant. It's the death blow of this team. And uh, But Pat Tabler seemed to suggest that it might not necessarily be an injury. It could be uh, he's just trying different pitches or... or um, you know, different breaking pitches and whatnot, which is I don't know why he would just blow that fastball in, but his fastball is two and a half miles an hour slower. And he has now blown three saves in four opportunities. He's not looked 
dominating as he has and it's a significant worry so I don't want to end on that note but we got to end on that note they lost again so I mean what, what do you I don't know how to pretty it up and make it feel good it was not a feel good game it's not a feel good story for this this team this year and uh yeah we're just stuck with that but we do have game two tonight and I'll be back with another podcast after uh that game so the Cards win 8-4. They're now 10-11 on the season. The Jays fall to 6-15. and We have Casey Lawrence on the hill. He's 0-2 versus Adam Wainwright, 1-3. That starts at 8-15 Atlantic, 7-15 Eastern, 8-45 Newfie time. Join me then. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Appreciate it. Talk soon. Boom, bap, boom, 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 bap, boom, boom, boom.